Hey, what's going on guys? I just wanted to put together a really quick video inside of Affinity Studio, just to show you how you can put together one of these Spotify plaques that you may have seen people selling on Etsy or TikTok. So what people tend to do is they'll create these and they'll print them off and they'll put them inside of a photo frame or maybe onto an acrylic plastic, which you can see through. So like I stated, people do sell these on Etsy and TikTok and various websites. So if you do want to save yourself the time of making one of these yourself, you can go ahead and buy them if you like the look of them. However, I do want to give you guys the option to create this yourself. Not only that, I also want to give you guys this file for free. So all you've got to do once you download this from the description inside of my video section is you're just going to import it into Affinity Studio and you can just change all of this information here to anything that you want in terms of the song that you're going to put on your plaque. So what I do is I just quickly show you how to run through and change all the things that you're going to need to change. So if we head over to the right hand side layers section, you can see I've organized everything here into groups so you can find everything that you're looking for. So you can change the colors of these play buttons here, for instance, as a whole, if you like, by selecting the group. Go ahead and just change the color to red if you prefer that or any other color that you like. So I'll just go ahead and undo that. Inside of the group, we have all of the individual icons so you can change them individually or resize them. And this pretty much the same principle for all of the other elements on the screen. I've got the play bar right here so you can go ahead and you can grab maybe the circle. If you hold down shift on your keyboard and just drag that across, you can move the playhead to any position that you want. But I'll go ahead and just undo that and put it back. So everything on here is editable. You can change the color of everything that you see on the screen just by selecting all of the individual elements or the groups. So all you guys really need to do is simply just change the image of your cover art and change the title of the song and the artist name as well as putting your own wedding date here at the bottom. And you're going to change the Spotify code, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. But before we do that, I just want to mention that this document I've set up right here is an A5 size, and this is a really good size for this type of project. So if you get yourself some A5 paper, put that in your printer, you can print this directly onto that A5 piece of paper. And like I stated, you can either put it inside of a photo frame or the acrylic plastic. You can turn the background on and off here at the bottom. So this is how it would look if you put it onto the acrylic plastic. And the way that you would do this is you would actually buy transparent sticky back paper, which you can buy on Amazon. So that won't print any background color whatsoever. It'd only print the black. Or you can use a vinyl cutter. It depends on how you guys want to go ahead and make that for the acrylic. But for a photo frame, you would generally have the white background or of course you can go in there and just change the background to any color that you like. That is entirely up to you. So moving on, like I said, all you want to do is just edit the information down here for your wedding date. You want to edit the title of the track and the artist as well as you may want to come in here and change the playhead time from the start to the finish and move the playhead button. And some people like to have the heart over here in red as that's usually the color that you'd have on Spotify. Personally, I like it black, but you can go ahead and have that red if you want. Okay, so moving on, the first thing we need to do is just change the image that we have here for the cover art. And this is just a picture frame, which you'll find over here on the left hand side inside of the layout section in Affinity Studio. So all you've got to do with a picture frame is you just drag and drop a new image on top of that. So what we'll do is we'll go and get a new code down here for the song that you may want as well as a cover art. And the way we've got to do that is go into Spotify, either on the app on your website, the desktop app or the app on your phone. So what I'll do is I'll just open up Spotify on my Mac and for a quick example, I'll just go ahead and grab this Justin Bieber song. So what you want to do is search for any song that you like and just simply right click on that. You're going to go to where it says share and you're going to copy link to song. Once you've done that, you're going to go over to Google and you're going to search for the website spotifycodes.com and you just simply paste that code inside of here. Go ahead and choose get Spotify code, then just make your way down towards the bottom. Just click continue and then that will give you the cover art right here as well as a Spotify code. So what we'll do first of all is we'll make a copy of the cover art by right clicking on there and we'll just go copy image. Then we'll go back into Affinity Studio. We'll just paste that in. Then over in our layers, we can see we've got it right here. We're just going to drag that and drop that on top of the photo frame and then that will change the image for us. So now we have the cover art for that song. So what we'll do quickly is we'll just go ahead and we'll change the name of the track which was called Speed Demon. So I'll go ahead and just select all of that text and we'll just simply replace that with Speed Demon. And then we'll do the same with the artist underneath. So it was Justin Bieber. So we'll go and type that in as well. 
So with that complete, all we've got to do now is simply change the Spotify code that we have down here as that originally links to that Brian McKnight one. So we'll go back over to Google where we was originally and we just got to grab this code right here. So we'll just go ahead and leave this the way it is. We won't change any of the size or the background color, etc. What we are going to change is the format. So we'll go ahead and we'll change that to SVG. Just simply go ahead and download that file. Once you've done that, you just got to locate that file on your computer, then just import it to Affinity Studio. And now we have it inside of a new project just here on the right hand side. There is our original and there is the code that we just saved and opened. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go over to the layers, make our way down to the bottom and we'll grab that rectangle background and we'll just delete it. And we're going to grab the rest of all of these inside the layer. So we we'll grab the top one make our way down to the bottom we're going to hold down shift while we select the bottom that then is going to select all of the other layers in between and we'll hit command or control g to group and then we can just put all that together so we can move it easily so what we can do at this point is we can change the color if you like so for this i'm going to go ahead and change that to black but of course you guys can have any color that you would like so once again i'll just put that back to black then i'm going to make a copy of this and i'm going to go back to our plaque and just paste this into the project. So I'll go ahead and hit Command or Control V to paste. I'll grab my Move tool over on the top left hand side and I'm just gonna resize that and bring that down to roughly where I wanna position it. So somewhere around there, I just need to go ahead and delete the one that was originally underneath it. So if I go and find that one down there in my layers and delete, and that is all there is to it. There is a brand new code generated for this song. So I'll just make that just a little bit bigger, make sure it snaps into place just so it all aligns equally on the sides. But it really is as simple as that. And all you've got to do now, guys, is simply go into File, go down to Print. You want to choose an A5. Then that will fill up the entire piece of paper that you need to print. Then go ahead and just put that inside of a photo frame like I stated. Or on that acrylic backing or maybe a wood backing. It's entirely up to you what you would like to do with this. So just like I said at the beginning, guys, I'm going to give you this file away for free. So you haven't got to worry about creating any of these icons yourself or putting all this together. Just simply come in here, change the image and the code and maybe the title name and the artist name. And it's actually if you want to do the start time and the end time, etc. And you guys are absolutely free to go ahead and print these off and sell these if you want to. All I do ask is that you don't try and sell the original file which I'm giving you guys as I've given you this for free. So if you guys found this useful and you could possibly make some money off this and you want to buy me a coffee then I'll leave the link in the description to the buy me a coffee page and it'll also be in the comment section. But if you did like this video please go ahead and give it a like as it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and helps other people find my content. There's also a new button which is called Hype below the video. If you guys could hit that, that also gets me a little bit more exposure. And of course, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as I'm on a personal mission to try and reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2025. And I'm around 8,000 now, so I'm not too far to go, but you guys could really make that happen. But for now, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.